Welcome back to the new agent video series. Today, I'm gonna go over how do agents get paid. So a lot of people don't quite have a full understanding on how a real estate agent gets paid, so we're going to debunk different myths and make sure that you are informed. So real estate agents who are working in a sales capacity get paid based on a percentage of the gross sales price. Typically, there's gonna be two sides to each sale. Somebody working with a buyer and somebody working with a seller. Now, that can be the same person working both sides, but a lot of the times it is two different agents to make sure that both clients have full representation and are taken care of to the fullest ability of the agent. With that being said, I wanna break down what a commission looks like. So typically, the standard is 6% commission on an entire sale and that's shared 3% to the buyer's agents, 3% to the seller's agents and they're gonna split it 50-50. Now keep in mind, this is negotiable and set by the listing agent when they actually go work with the seller and secure that contract to sell their house. So whatever that commission percentage is set in that contract, that is what the deal is gonna be done at. So let's see how much money you can make in real estate. In any real estate transaction we're going over agent commission in any real estate transaction you're going to be working one side uh, of the deal traditionally it's six percent commission three percent for each side of the deal so we're going to make our calculation off of three percent now an average deal here in the Anchorage area, let's just say that that's 300,000. That's a fairly safe bet. Some averages are higher, some averages are lower, but we're gonna calculate this off 300,000. So 3% of 300,000, the gross commission on one side of the deal is going to be $9,000. So $9,000 would be the gross commission. Now the idea is to go get as many of these sales as possible so that you can stack that income up on an annual basis to be able to earn your target income. Now out of this $9,000, there's lots of expenses that come in. You're stepping into the world of an entrepreneur, so you're stepping into the world of a business owner, and you're gonna have expenses and overhead that you're gonna need to take care of to be able to actually operate that business. We'll go over to those in a later segment, but this is how a real estate agent is going to get paid.